Well, good morning. Welcome back to Not For Nothing Homestead. So we're going down. It's very early in the morning. Well, not very early, but I do have my coffee. So we're going down to pick some beans. So I wanted to talk about today, um, coal frames. What you can do with your coal frame. Oh, I need to mow out here so bad. But the grass was crunchy, and then we got rain, 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 and now everything just shot up. Oh, that's my garden. That's my garden back there. Got tomatoes, some little Italian white sunflowers, and a couple of volunteer yellow ones. One of those yellow ones is my uh, screensaver picture. Um, but I wanted to talk about cold frames. So... I saw, I don't know if any of you guys watch, um, Danny and Wanda with Deep South Homestead. Oh my gosh. They are amazing. It, a wealth of information. Learned so, I've learned so much from them. Um, but one of the things that Danny did was he built a coal frame. So, I saw it and I told my husband, oh my gosh, I want to build one of those. And so he built one for me. Um, you kind of angle it at the side of, you know, you build it at an angle so that it gets the sun, the east facing sun. Uh, so in the morning, every, when everything, you know, is warming up in the winter time, you can heat up that bed. Well, I'll turn it around and turn the camera around. So this is the cold frame. That's my coffee. You will soon learn I will not get very far from my coffee cup ever. Um, so, <laughs> what's in it right now are my long beans, asparagus beans, noodle beans, whatever you want to call them. They have several names. I call them deliciousness. Uh, and they are huge. They These guys have just put out and put out and put and just keep they just keep coming and it is amazing at all of them hanging <laughs> but at the beginning of the year uh, when it was really really cold you can see there's one section here there's a middle section and then there's a far section you can barely see right there you can barely see the the board but there's three sections so we planted potatoes in here now back here on the back side are the windows that hinge over here on the back and then they lay down this way well for summertime we had to take those off because uh, it was just too much heat but uh, you know we were thinking what can we plant in there in the summertime once we pulled our potatoes you know it was a whole big bed full of good soil and we thought what will we what will we put in there so Oh, poo, I forgot my beans. I was going to plant some more lima beans, some lima beans in here, too, in this spare bed. Um, but anyway, so once the, the potatoes got out, I'm trying to help this guy help him along. Creep, creep, creep there. Um, so once these guys, you know, the potatoes got done, we were trying to figure out what to put in here. So I said, well, let's, let's try these long beans in here never grew long beans before um and didn't read a lot of the instructions carefully <laughs> because we put up as you can see here this little tiny tiny trellis down here yeah that wasn't gonna work uh i soon found out in watching them go we were gonna need something bigger so we got a cattle panel Went to Tractor Supply, got a cattle panel, cut it in half, and then just made a T out of it. Um, and so that is what I'm going to pick this morning. That kind of gives you an idea if you have a cold frame or if you want a cold frame. Wow, do they work for potatoes so good. Oh my goodness. That thing was like a little miniature heater. And it was so amazing. Um, just how much stuff I got on my 
Guardian boots because it rained last night. So <laughs> everything is wet and the ground is knee high. So um, it, it just kind of gives you an idea of what you can do with your beds, you know, just so you're not wasting space. Um, uh, I, I do like to watch um, Freedom Homestead. Um, and it was something that she said recently that stayed with me was, um, <laughs> plant and pray, pray and plant, pray and plant again. So if you get to worrying, don't worry, just pray and then plant some more. So that's, that's kind of been my philosophy. I keep planting more and planting more. So I'm trying to put you down here so you can see. So we're just gonna pick, pick these today um, and try to get a bunch of these, um, these long beans out and then I'll come back once I get a bunch of these picked up. Okay, so I'm back. I picked up a mess, what we call in the South a mess of beans. Picked up a mess of beans. So this bed, this end of the bed, um, I had planted some stuff and it really got the heat, just got the best of it, just like it gets, the, it's getting the best of all of us too. I try to get out here in the morning as early as I can or pop over when the sun is not so strong because I have actually gotten sun blisters on my shoulders they hurt really bad so don't want to do that i don't want to give myself sun poisoning so anyways we're gonna turn you to where you can see this bed and we're just gonna do as miss tangy does and just plant and pray so this is again like i said this is a good use for i still have some radishes in here so i'll try to let them go but thought i would get some bush beans in here because I know we've got probably uh, 50, I think they're 50, 57 days till harvest. Oh, I should have got another pack. This is not a lot. Um, uh, and so these will harvest. These will come quickly. And I just kind of do do do. This is my method <laughs> to my madness and how I plant. Just stick my finger in there, kind of like uh, <laughs> Stacy, off grid with Doug and Stacy. She's got the finger is the best planner, she says. So, and it gets it done quickly. I have one of those square uh, planting squares, and I like that too. But this is just kind of an impromptu. Let me shove some stuff in here. I just want to keep growing, 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 growing. So, if these little beans over here get done soon then I know I'll have a backup to the bean harvest and we can put some beans maybe some beans and potatoes together we can can some beans and potatoes together so that was that and I think I've been very remiss and not said but my name is ginger by the way <laughs> yes like the spice ginger like the spice. Okay, so now we'll go over to the other garden and the sun is coming over the mountain as they say. Oh, yes. It's getting a little hot out here this morning. Already. So we've got tomatoes in various stages. And I did get some plant starts from a local um, a local feed store aroma tomatoes and some of them are doing well some of them are coming to what seems like the end of their life cycle so I've got to pull some of them um, they're doing okay but they've pretty much they, they were short and put on a lot of fruit and the plant got so plants I bought several of them got so heavy I had to brace them however I could because I hadn't braced them um, but yeah so 
whoa, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so see like this one, it's actually, these are blushing, so I can pick these and probably pull this plant. Uh, so I'll be able to put something else in its place during our growing season here. So that one's empty now. Oh, we got a little pollinator coming around. Trying to say hello this morning. This is... Can you see the poblano? I'm so excited. This pepper tree, or pepper plant, excuse me, is full of buds for poblanos. So I'm so excited. I've got blooms up here. I've got this... This big one that's hanging down here. Excited for him. Gotta get in here and this is another one of those short romas. And then I planted from seed some romas and I put them on this side of this block garden. And these are a completely different shape. <laughs> they look completely different. But they're, you know, everything was labeled Roma. So, I mean, it's, I guess it's just a different kind of Roma. Marigolds are doing good. They're, they're blooming. The lemon balm is doing good. Everybody's trying to keep the bad bugs away. And the good bugs here, which I'm thankful for that. There's some, I don't know if you can see way back in there. Do you see those cayennes? Oh yeah, there's a whole, there's one that is like crimson red back there. That's going to be a hot one. And then, over here as we're doing a little tour, this is our kind of makeshift watering system so that we can have water quickly accessible to the um, garden. So we put it right here by the garden and see my husband rigged up this ingenious thing where they go together they backfill into each other and so anyways that's working out really really good I planted on this side this was my wall of sunflowers and the hope was that on the back side of this garden the wall of sunflowers, as you can see right there, the wall of sunflowers would help shade all of these plants in the daytime. That has not happened because the worst part of our day, it's just like heating everything up so much, which everybody's going through the same thing. It's just... It's just killing your plants by 2 o'clock. You know, your plants look like they're they're completely dead. There's my owl. He tries to keep an eye out on... <laughs> keep the predators away. There's some thyme. And some rosemary. And then we have purple bell peppers here. And this bush over here has three purple bell peppers. I don't know if you can see them. But they're all there in a nice little group. We've got some good bell peppers going on. Um, so, finish. I'm going to pull that tomato plant. And then I'm going to uh, end up... I don't think I'll pull that pepper plant. I might leave it. But it's dropping leaves like crazy. But the one behind it, I may pull that one as well. But I hope you enjoyed this little mini of just one of our gardens this is our block garden so hope you enjoyed it um and the cold frame information again uh danny from deep south homestead has a, a video of how he built his cold frame um and then you can utilize it in the winter uh, for your potatoes and then do your plant starts to get ready for the season um, and get everything started or uh, and then in the summertime you I just took we just took the windows off and then used it and put that trellis in it and used it for beans so no sense in wasting that space when you could be growing yet something else right 
All right, so I guess I will see you guys in the next video. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and uh, I hope you enjoyed. Have a great day.